Hey guys and welcome to Ours Scale. So I was reading a newsletter by Matt Wolf, which is called Rundown AI, and he mentioned a little known feature inside of Jupyter Store that not many people know about. And I thought I would test it out and see if it's suitable for SEO. And I even came up with uh, a couple of use cases for you to try. So the way it works is as follows. You need to have access to GPTs. So you need the Explore GPTs feature enabled. And then uh, once you start a new chat, while you're prompting the chat GPT, you can reference all of the custom GPTs that you have explored previously that are stored in your memory. So uh, the first use case that I wanted to try was a YouTube to outline to article. And what I did, I just randomly picked something that has a lot of uh, views. And I typed video and there was video summarizer with 50k users. So I chose that. And for the article writer, I I selected two big YouTube names, Julian Goldie and Income Stream Surfers. So this one here with 10K, which is 10,000 people using this custom GBD. So what I did, I just went to my channel. I picked a video that I thought would be appropriate, like this one here, which is about nine untapped niches uh, within email marketing. And then uh, you start a new chat and all you have to do is to use a small email sign. And now you have access to all the GPTs that you have recently used. So we're interested in this one first. I just insert the video URL. And the summary is mispronounced in the name of the website. And while it's doing its thing, the website is actually called Bus Universe, where you can get access to all the free resources as well as my courses and one-on-one -on -one consultations that I have. So everything that I previously had across multiple websites is gathered for you in one place. So this is basically a one window shop. Okay, so this is a summary. Now, if I want to try another custom GPT, I use this email sign again. And this time I will choose the Julian Godey's content outline creator. And I just say, create an outline based on the above. And I will not be judging the quality of these custom GBTs. This is not the purpose of the video. What I'm showing you is that you can now reference various custom GPTs inside of one single window. And since ChatGPT uses a lot of uh, memory tokens right now and the context window is quite large, there are a lot of opportunities hidden with this technique. So this uh, Julian Godis outline, uh, what it's doing is creating part one, which is understanding email marketing, part two, exploring top email marketing niches like DIY email marketing, bulk email marketing, programmatic SEO and email marketing. Okay, so this is the outline. And I have a custom outline which is called Outline Genius. It's available in uh, the store which is vastuniverse.com. It's not available to the general public. And then I just go to Increment Stream Surfers and I say write me an article based on the above outline. And this is the article by income stream surfers and again i'm not using the income stream surfers uh, chat GPT to its full potential i'm not providing it with any links nor am i specifying the target keywords but again this is for demonstration purposes only to show you what is possible now inside of chat GPT. and as you can see this is using uh, julian goldie's outline which is divided into part one and part two and this is what we're getting back so you just need to pick whichever custom GPTs you fancy and then you can create these combinations of different custom GPTs to get you the best result possible. So that was uh, use case number one, which was again going from YouTube video and creating a summary to outline and to the actual article. So next up, we want to explore this combination here, which is basically an article audit going from the on page to the content gap and to EEAT. For this, I just randomly picked uh, three of the custom GBDs and I made it so they are pinned to my sidebar. So those are on page SEO, content gap explorer, which is a GBD by me and EEAT analyzer. So we have our article in question, which is uh, Ken Dog St. Logan from Fluffy Planet. So once again, all we have to do is to use the email sign. And first is on page SEO. So I just uh, paste in the URL and the keyword is Ken Dog's it long end. Based on the SEO analysis of the web page Gang Dogs It Long End from Fluffy Planet, here are detailed recommendations. Title optimization, 
the titles were optimized. The page lacks meta description. Header text, the use of h1 and h3 is good, but consider adding more relevant h2 skewer density is appropriate. Content depth and quality, good amount of content. And no way, this is 3000 words. I don't think this is a 3000 word article. Let's just take a look real quick. This is not 3000 words. Uh, and again, I'm not judging the quality of the GBDs. I'm just showing you what is possible. So the second step would be to use the content gap, analyze the above URL. The article can docs it long and on fluffy plan provides a comprehensive look at whether long and is safe. It begins with a general introduction. The article emphasizes the lack of scientific studies. The article also briefly blah blah blah. Um, actually, I don't like this. So. <laughs> Well, something is definitely wrong with my custom GVD, but that's okay. Again, just pretend you got uh, an audit of your article. Then what is left to do is to use the EAT analyzer. Analyze EEAT for the above URL. So the EEAT analysis is as follows. Experience, the author Nadine Orby demonstrates experience through a detailed discussion of the topic. While the author's specific qualifications are unmentioned, the content appears well researched. Authoritativeness, the website Fluffy Planet seems to focus on pet related content, which contributes to the authority on such topics. Trustworthiness, the site appears professional, trustworthy, with no obvious red flags. My custom GBD did not perform up to my expectations, but once again, this is a route that you could take with auditing your articles. So find something that gives you a great on-page SEO, then use uh, something to extract or compare your article to those of your competitors, and then finish it off with an EEAT analysis. Once you have everything, you can just say, combine all of the above learnings in a helpful table. Here is a com combined table summarizing the SEO analysis, content analysis, and EEAT analysis. And I think this is where the power of this uh, small feature that may go unnoticed lies. So this is where it is at its most helpful. So that's it guys. Go check out my Vast Universe website for the free resources, courses, and training. And hope this was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time.